the week in Tokyo was really great for me. You know, it was a tough draw, but I feel like there is no easy draws anymore. The tournaments are so tough. Everyone's playing uh, so, so well. And uh, you know that every match you're going to have to fight until the end and fight for every point if you want to, if you want to win. Um, I feel like I kind of made the next step this year. Um, my goal at the beginning of the year was to make second week of Grand Slam and I did that at Wimbledon and after that, that gave me a lot of confidence and I kind of changed a little bit mentally. I believe in myself a lot more and, you know, I'm always a person who's very realistic. I don't, uh, I don't think I can beat everyone when I know I don't have the level, but now I definitely be believe I can play well and if I play really well, I can beat everyone because everyone's beating everyone so why why wouldn't I um I really enjoy working with Torben we've been working for, together f since the off season last year and we've been working really hard he's he's a really positive guy and uh, he has a lot of experience and he's definitely helped me a lot you know Im improved my game and gave me some you know insurance that if you do the right thing the hard work will pay off and we've been working really hard and it's definitely paying off and uh, I'm re really really happy to be working with him. Um, uh, not not for that, I normally don't have like a lot of trouble closing out matches but for what, what I feel is like you know when I was when I'm struggling in the first set and not playing well this is where I see the difference to be able to win even though I'm not playing my best tennis and to to try to stay calm and you know still push myself because I know that if I fight and stay in it that maybe I will start to play better. Yeah, there was lots lots of ups and downs. I was very good when I was very young and then I was struggling a little bit at 18, 19, but I feel like at 22 I've been through everything. I've been through the highs and through the lows and now I've matured a lot in the last couple of years and finally I, you know, in the last two years I, I'm, I have some consistency throughout the year and this is really important to me because before when I used to play like finals, the I would lose first round the next couple of tournaments and um, I still expect a lot from myself. I still put pressure on myself like you know today I thought it was a really good opportunity to make a third round and you know that made me really really nervous and I really wanted to win so that's something I still need to learn how to deal with a little bit better but overall I'm really happy with how consistent I am. Um, I think yeah I think it comes with age as well. Um, you see a lot of girls even now young girls that are playing really really well but I don't they cannot keep it you know and even though they if they can keep it for a few tournaments they cannot keep it for the full year and I think that's what uh, they need to remember because you know it's very easy to get down on yourself and to be hard but uh, you know it's a journey and uh, if you if you have the level you will eventually uh, reach the top and achieve your goals and if you don't you know you don't not everyone <laughs> you need to take it easy a little bit um yeah, there's a lot in the top 20, but you don't, you know, there is few of them winning like Osaka and Ostapenko last year, winning the slams, but you don't see, you still don't see it throughout, you know, throughout the whole year. So for sure there is some, you know, spe like special moments like that, but is it, can they have the consistency to be top 10, top 5 the whole year? I'm not sure yet, but uh, there's definitely, you know, Everyone, everyone can beat everyone at the moment, and uh, that's like I think that's what's so good about the women's tennis right now is you know you don't know who's gonna win the tournament at the end, you know. Whereas in men's tennis is a little bit different. Yeah, I've been living in Monaco the last couple of years, um, but before when I was training in London, I really, really, really enjoyed being there. Um, London still has a very special place in my heart. Uh, I have a few friends that live there and I really enjoy going back there. And of, of course, Wimbledon is my favorite tournament, yeah.